Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth and last part of the JS13 Kilobyte Games tutorial series. In this video, we'll add the last element that's missing, which is collision detection between the player and the enemies. And I'm also gonna show you how you can build your own custom build of the Contra library using the command line. So you might need to uh, you will need to install a few more things to to do that part. But you are also free to use the build that I provided, which is can be downloaded in the description of the video. So let's get started. But before we get started, the assets that are used in this video were created by Charm, an artist that can be found on OpenGameArt.org. And now we can get started. Um, we have a loop in here, the game loop. And inside of that loop, we have our update. We have our update method, which is where the positions of the elements and, and properties as in uh, X, Y, speed, etc., are updated. And then we have the rendering method, which is which the, the method that takes care of showing us the elements on the screen according to their most current positions. So, um, it is on update where we would check for collision because this is really where we're putting all of the, well, this is where the, the logic of the game goes on a contract game. So inside of this, of this for each loop, we can actually check for collision, but we need to do so after we update the position. So we, we've set a certain speed, but we actually need the final position and that's when we can check. So, um, what we'll add in here is, and also I forgot to say, also the player needs to have been updated as well. So we actually need to put this player updating code in here. So our player is in its final position, our enemy is in its final position, and now we can check for collision. So the way to do that is actually quite easy in Contra because sprites provide a method that's called collides with collides with and then you can put another sprite so this will give true this will this will become true if the enemy is colliding with the player and what is it that we're gonna do then we're gonna do the same thing that we did when you when you win the game so we're gonna pause the game we're gonna show game over and we are gonna restart the game so you can obviously add add something else something a bit nicer uh, than this, but this is just to show you how you can do it. So let's see if this works. And there we go. So we've got now a collision and we got our game over. So we've used a lot of the elements that uh, that you can find in here and feel free to, to explore and see what else is available with this library. But the last part, now the last part we need to do is actually generate, show you how you can generate that um, that final that final build file, so the the one in here in in lead, this file because this is much smaller than the original one that comes with Contra. The one that comes with Contra is in here, and it's 25 kilobytes because it includes it includes all the modules, and we only want some of the modules. Um, so the requirement here to generate your own build is to is to install Node.js in your computer. So if you go to if you search for Node.js, um, you can download it and install it from here. According to your platform, the instructions will be different. And this is a command line tool. So the one that we use is the long-term support version, by the way. And after you've done that, you need um, a terminal. In this case, I'm using a terminal called git bash, which you can also install for free. So I'm using that terminal and I have to navigate to where the folder is. So as I mentioned, this, this is a bit more advanced. And if you're not familiar with terminals and command line, you don't have to use it. You can use the build that I've provided. So I'm just showing you in case you wanted to build your own. So I'm going to go to the location of where my project is, which is, um, so I forget to mention that you actually need to uh, download or clone the whole repository. So you need, you need not just this file, you need the whole thing. You basically need to download the, the entire thing. And and the, the documentation here provides provides a bit of 
um, help as well. So custom builds here, you can see how, how you can do a, a build. So the steps, the steps to take once you once you reach the location of the project of the control library, so this is not your game project, this is the control library. You you run npm install, which will install all the dependencies, and you need to uh, type gulp gulp build. But uh, you, so you also need to install uh, gulp, which you can do by typing in npm install global uh, gulp. And then uh, to build a custom file, you have to do gulp build files, and then you specify which modules you want. So these are all the all the modules that you have available. And there's one here that's actually missing, which is QLite. Um, so the the place where you can find this uh, as well, information about this is um, in here in package.json. It is. Um, I think it was in package.json. No, it is on the on gulp file. Yes, it is on gulp file. So here it is. Yeah, it's showing that one now. So um, the ones that we need, so the ones that you need to include for this particular project are are um, Q light first. It is Q light. So let me just look at the other page one more time because I um, got a bit confused with the syntax. So custom builds. Yeah, that's how it's added. So it, everything is added without spaces. Okay. So you need to include QLite and you also need to include assets because we're, we're using assets. We are using the game loop. So as you can see, this is super flexible. We are using Sprite and we are using the keyboard. So these are all the things that we're using. So once you run that, uh, in this case, uh, it's not installed. So let's do npm, let's do npm install, let's do the entire thing. So that took a while. Basically what I had to do was type npm install that installed all these dependencies. It took a while to download. And then I ran the building command uh, so that created the, the file that we can use now in our game. So it's this, this one here, it's 12 kilobytes. So I'm gonna copy that file from my Contra folder and now go back to my game folder. And I'm actually gonna replace the one here because the one we have now is actually smaller. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. And, and the last uh, step obviously is to put this in a, in a zip file. So there might be, a, I think you have to include a readme, there might be something you have to include. You would have to include a, a document, a text file that specifies the license of the assets. So I'm going to be including that on the files you download. But as you can see, we ended with a file that's actually 11 kilobytes. So that would, that would qualify as a game for the competition. So that's, that's, uh, we've reached the, the end of the tutorial and before saying goodbye, I'm going to leave you with the very last challenge of this series. So your last challenge is to add something unique to the game. So I gave you this game that's pretty basic. Add something else to it, modify it, hack something out of it and share a screenshot or a link in the comments. So show other people that are watching the video what sort of things they can build, they can do. And having said that, I wish you the best of luck with your projects and hope to see you in um, in one of our courses in on Zemba and hope that you participate as well of the competition. See you soon. Bye bye.